In this video, we're going to have a look at creating a photo gallery web page in Adobe Dreamweaver. We will be making the web page for Clark Little Photography. Now, Clark Little is just a Hawaiian based surf photographer and he makes some um, really cool photos. So, what we're going to do is make a little web page for him where he can display some of his photos. And users can basically click on a small thumbnail picture and a larger version of that photo will come up in a new tab so they can have a closer look at the photo in detail. A little bit more complex than previous tutorials, but it's not too hard. So we will have a look at making it now. Before you get started, don't forget you need to go into your digital portfolio, go into your documents folder, and in there make a new folder called Clark Little Photography. Remember inside that folder, you need to make another one called Images. And from Curriculum Drive, you need to copy and paste all the pictures from the Clark Little Photography folder. Okay, so we've got about eight pictures there that you need to copy and paste in. When you open them up, they're a fair size. Okay, so they're reasonable quality that you can have a look at. Okay, you'll also notice in the images folder there we've got a picture of this header. Okay, and I made this myself in Adobe Fireworks. I'm not going to show you how to do that in this video, as you already know how to do it from previous tutorials. So pop on over to Fireworks now and make yourself a document that's 960 by 150 pixels with 72 pixels per inch resolution. And make yourself a little header that says Clark Little Photography. Don't forget your capital letters for the start of each word as well. When you're done with it, make sure you save it as a JPEG picture and drop it into your images folder along with all these other pictures. You may have also noticed that I've got a thumbnails folder here. Now that's going to be empty at the moment. But in a sec, we're going to go into Fireworks. We're going to resize each of these large pictures and turn them into thumbnails. As you saw with the example that I had before, these are all thumbnail pictures, so really small pictures that can be clicked on. Then they'll pop up into their larger version. Okay, so let's do the thumbnail trick now. We'll head on, head on over to Fireworks to do that. And we're simply going to go to File and Open. And navigate your way through to your Clark Little Photography folder. And what I want you to do is select all those photos. And just click Open. That should open up all eight photos in tabs across the top of the page. Okay, there they all are. Now we're going to resize these, so grab your black arrow from your toolbox and I want you to click off the photo, so just outside it in the grey area. That will just deselect your photo and it will bring up the document properties. And we want to change the image size down the bottom there in our properties box. When you press the image size, this box appears. We want to make it 235 pixels for the width and the height. Okay, so these first two boxes will need to be 235 pixels. Once you've got that, click OK. And we've got a nice little thumbnail that will just slide into our website beautifully. So let's save that up. And it's going to go into our thumbnails folder. And I'm going to just put X on the end of that, just to show that it's a bit different from the original picture. So this is Wave X. And I'll click Save. I can close that tab now. And do the same for the next picture. I'll just click off it first. Go to Image Size. Make it 235 pixels width and height. Save as, make sure you drop it in the thumbnails folder, and I'm going to put an X on the end of it. You can fast forward the video now if you've got the hang of this. Okay, otherwise you can keep on watching. I'm just going to resize these pictures exactly the same way and keep saving them in exactly the same way.
So that's the last of my thumbnails saved and if I go back into my account now and I'm going to open up this thumbnails folder I should have eight images in here which I do and if I open them up I'll just go through them one by one to make sure that they're all resized to the same size looks like they are so that's good news so our thumbnails are ready to go into our website shortly okay images are all good so it's now time to go to Dreamweaver and start to make our web page Okay, so I'm just going to make a new HTML file. Okay, in the new version of Dreamweaver, you should be able to give it a document title. Okay, and that's just down the bottom if you forget to do that. Okay, so the document title is Clark Little Photography. Okay, now my page is looking a little bit funny here. I'm just going to have to move things around and get it looking good. Um, there we go, that's good. I want to get rid of this code, so I'm going to go from live mode into design mode and just click on the word design. Okay, as long as split's turned off, you won't see that code. If you can't see this properties box at the bottom of the page, go to window and select properties. You also want to make sure that you can see your insert panel on the right hand side here. If you can't see that, go to window and select insert. Okay, so that's all we really need, the insert panel across the right hand side and the properties box at the bottom. From here we're going to set up our page properties, first of all. Okay, the default font, best to use any sans serif font. Okay, so you can see some of these fonts have sans serif at the end. I'm not too fussy which one you pick, I'm just going to go with Sego today. Size 12 is always a good size to start with, you can change that later if need be text color is always going to be black and background color it's a beachy kind of theme we've got going on here so I'm going to pick a nice blue color for my background click OK next thing I'm going to do is put in a table so go to the insert panel and insert a table for this one it's going to be a bit bigger than usual it's going to be eight rows and one column it's still going to be 960 pixels width and we're still going to have zero border thickness cell padding and cell spacing Okay, so once you've got those settings, click on OK. And before you click anywhere else, remember to go down the bottom and align your table in the center of the page. Okay. Next thing you need to do is click in the first row of the table and then click and drag to the bottom row of the table. That selects all your table and you can go down to the properties panel at the bottom, change your BG or your background to white. Okay, in the first row of the table, simply click in it go across to your insert panel on the right and insert an image Now the image you want to insert is the header that you created in fireworks a little bit earlier so I'm just going to navigate through to my Clark little images folder find my header and insert it, it should fit perfectly inside the table in the second row we need to put in a horizontal rule Okay, so I can find that easily in my insert panel in the new version of Dreamweaver the 2015 version and later you might need to scroll down right to the bottom of the insert panel before you see the horizontal rule but it will be hiding in there somewhere okay that puts a gray line through the second row of our table when you click into the next row it'll look like the horizontal rule disappears but it's actually still there so don't go and put another one in because it is hiding away in your table in the third row of the table we want to start inserting some of those thumbnail pictures Okay, and I want to have, if we look back at the example, four thumbnails per row. So in Dreamweaver here in this third row, I'm going to click in there with the mouse cursor and go down the bottom of my properties and choose this button here, split cells into rows or columns. We basically want to split into columns and we want four of them. If we click OK, you'll see that you get four different columns. A little bit uneven at the moment, we'll fix those up shortly. I'm just going to highlight that row. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but we'll give it a go. I'm going to go to the CSS tab and choose a new inline style and center it. Hopefully when I click inside there, now the mouse cursor will be in the center of each of those columns, which it is. So I'm now ready to start inserting those thumbnails. Okay, so I'll start with the first one, which is the body border. Whoops, that's not a thumbnail. We'll try that again. I inserted the original picture there. We'll just go back and go into thumbnails first, then insert the body border. Okay, and that looks good. Much better size. Don't worry about your table getting a bit messed up here. It's going to fix itself shortly. 
Click in the second column now and go and insert the next thumbnail picture. You can start to see your table sorting itself out. By the time you put in the next two thumbnails in the next two columns, your table should be looking pretty good. Okay, so there we go. There's the first row all done. Looks quite nice. I'm going to go down to the next row now. And I'm going to split it again into four columns. And then I'm going to do the same again where I highlight it. Choose a new inline style and just center it again. And I'm going to put a caption under each picture. Okay, so for that first one, I might write body border. Next one looks like a clean kind of wave. Uh, we've got some funnels in the next picture. And then we've got a nice little heart shaped wave there. Okay, so just a few little captions tell us what's going on in each picture. In the next row after that, we're going to put another horizontal rule just to rule that section off. Okay, and then clicking in the next row, what we're going to do is split it up again into four columns. We'll highlight it, do a new inline style, and center it. Now we start putting in the other thumbnails. Okay, so we've done the first four, we'll put in the final four now. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. In the um, next row, once again, split it up into four columns. Highlight it. Do a new inline style and a center align the text there. We'll put in shark. We'll put in smashed. It's like a bloke getting smashed. We've got a turtle here. And we've got a nice barrel. Over there. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Now I just realized a bit of an error with the table here. I haven't got enough rows in there. So what I'm going to do is just click in this last row and press tab on my keyboard. And that inserts a new row for me. So I'm going to go back to the second last row of the table and insert a horizontal rule. And then in the last row of the table, I'm going to put in our copyright statement. So I'm going to write copyright up to insert. In the new version of Dreamweaver, you'll have to go to Insert, HTML, and then Character, and find the copyright symbol. After that, put 2015, and I'm just going to write Clark Little. I'm going to highlight that copyright statement. Down in the CSS tab, I'm going to go to a new inline style. I'm going to center it, and I'm going to drop it down to size 10, so it's a little bit smaller. Okay. So that's the basic outline of our web page all done. We're not finished yet, but I'm going to save it so I don't lose all my work in case my computer crashes. So I'm going to my digital portfolio, documents, and Clark Little Photography. And I'm going to save it right there. I'll just call it Clark Little. Okay, I'm not going to save it in the images folder, it's outside of that. I'll click save. If you don't have a preview of that, you can press F12 on your keyboard and you can see how that's going to look. We'll see how quickly my computer loads it. There we go. It's looking pretty nice at the moment. The only issue we've got is we can't click on these thumbnails yet to open it up in a new tab. So let's do that now. It's fairly simple. Basically, we're going to click on the first picture of this body border here and we need to link it. So down the bottom in your properties panel, we're going to link it to the bigger version of that picture. So we go browse for file, by hitting that folder. We go into images, and we simply select the bigger picture, which is bodyboard. Now as I said before, I want it to pop up in a new tab, so I'm just going to go down to the target here, and click blank, and that opens up that image in a new blank tab. Now we just go through these pictures one by one, and link them to the bigger version and make sure that you click blank for the target so it will open it up in a new tab. Alrighty, so you can fast forward the video here. I'll only take a minute or so to get this done. the law. 
last one. Oops, second last one. I linked that to the wrong one. Should be in the turtle. And that one goes to wave. Alrighty. So if I click through these one by one now, I'll just be double checking down the bottom to make sure I've got them right. And they're linking to the right picture, and they're popping up in a new blank tab. computer here but I can see down the bottom that everything seems to be working okay we should be all good so I'm gonna file and save that one more time and I'm gonna press F12 on my keyboard again just to open that up in either Chrome or Internet Explorer and now when we hover over these pictures you'll see the cursor change into a little hand which shows there is a link there when I click the first one you'll see a new tab pops up with the original photo so it's just a matter of going through those pictures one by one making sure they load up the appropriate larger picture. So far so good. Alrighty, so that's working. And that's a completed Clark Little photo gallery. And so when you're done, make sure you save it one more time if it's not already saved and you're finished.